What's going on out there? Love them knives. In case you clicked into the wrong channel unintentionally. This is the Love Them Knives channel. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Whoa. Do we have, does that look like a website you've seen recently? Oh, yeah. Check out my website. I got the link below. Got lots of knives. We have sold hundreds of knives already in less than three weeks on the new website. So check it out. They're pre-owned, pre-owned, pre-loved. And, okay, I know the real reason. They're cheap. They're cheap, way cheaper than new ones, okay? But maybe as good. Maybe as good as the new. And some unusual stuff. Okay, now that I'm pimping my stuff, let's talk about petrified fish. Oh, is it fossilized fish or petrified fish? And this is the hummingbird. Do so you see this? It says PFE10. It's an M390. It's titanium. It's high-end. It is not as easy to disengage as I would like. And that's because this lock bar does weird things. Okay, so it's the hummingbird. I mean, what? It looks like a shark, doesn't it? This looks like, you know, shark. And then there's the fin and stuff. Of course, you got to move the fin back a little bit. But, um, you know, hey, we're just conceptualizing here. But no, it's a hummingbird. It's the hummingbird. You can get it in bronze as well. So, yeah, you get this color, you got to drink Bud Light. But if you get the bronze, you can... <laughs> what are your pronouns? Come on. Okay, so Hummingbird 1.06 Satin Blade Folding Knife. It's almost $100. But if I have a discount code, I'll put it down below. I can't remember if I do right now. God. I've slept since then, folks. I've slept since then, okay? So it's got a one inch blade, okay? One inch blade. Well, we, we, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you, okay. And Rockwell, of course, is a minimum of 61. Oh, oh hold on, 59, okay. Cage ceramic bearings, 30 grams, 1.06 ounces. We gotta put the 06 in there because, oh my God, this is very lightweight. Why do we have a pocket clip? I don't know, Daddy. It's scaring me. You know why? Why? I don't even see the knife anymore. It's gone. Um, yeah, this would be a fifth pocket slide in. Well, I guess the clip could clip onto your fifth pocket area, right? Uh, so there's that. And you know, watch out, buddy. Back off, okay? Cocktail olives. Step back. We're headed into the bar. Okay, hold on. What do we got? Oh, yeah, I was cutting with this thing earlier. Okay, like that, man. And <sighs> cocktail. Tiki bar down here. Tiki bar. That's what we do. That's what we do. Okay, so, okay. Shh, get over here. Yes, the cutting prowess is, is world-renowned on this knife. It really is. And, uh, hey, you might pick up some chicks with this. It's like, that's adorable. What is that? You know? And it's like, it's killing machine. Oh, really? It looks too cute to be a killing machine. So, yeah, you're probably not going to get any street cred from the one percenters on this one. But it could be a good conversation piece, right? Yeah, it could be. So, yeah, you want some street cred. Uh get the diatomic okay there you go and then then you got the street cred right there but this one it'll be backing it up it'll be backing it up and at backspacer of course you got to have the little lanyard hole right you got you know this is all interesting i think so great little knife um obviously this blade is well check it out yeah, it's 1.0006 inches, whatever. But down here, I mean, look at the cutting length. It's probably one and five eighths, you know, out there. And then four and a half inches overall length at about 11 centimeters. So there's that. Now, obviously, kind of more like this because you're going to be in front of the fin. So you can get finished, right? Um, and so this gives you actually pretty good purchase as a three-finger knife when you when you put your finger up here, okay? 
interesting. I mean, interesting, fanciful, and stuff like that. And I know where this is going. My wife is going to confiscate it. She's already seen it. She's hovering, waiting for me to do this video. That's why I'm doing it. I got to get this out of the way so she can steal it. Okay. So, yeah. And she's got the right hummingbird. And she's got the little fish one that that uh, Petrified Fish made. The little fish-shaped one. Okay. Check it out on their site. And I'll give you the link to their site. But check it out because that's M390 as well. And it's a freaky looking deal. But... Uh, I, I was very skeptical. This was two, three years ago when that came out. And so I had it tested. Yeah, it's real M390. Okay. I didn't have a Rockwell. To, I don't think you could find room on this blade to do a Rockwell. I think you'd have to remove the blade. Uh, but I mean, I really don't give a rat's ass either. I mean, to tell you the truth, it's more of a curiosity and a little tiny, you know, fifth pocket backup thing for whatever. So I'm not too worried about that, but, uh, and besides, I won't be owning it, you know, because it'll, it'll be gone. It'll be confiscated from me, but these are kind of cool. Nice conversation piece. It flicks out good and the detents really pretty strong on it. And so it snaps right out. The, the biggest problem with this I have is it really doesn't go one hander very easily because it's a little difficult to fidget around with to do that. And okay, I did it. Now, now of course that I bitch about it. Now I can do it. But this, since this sits back, this lock bar kicks back behind this. Okay, so it's a it's a little funky to disengage. See here, it 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 backs up behind this little piece that we're looking at right there, not this. So you see what I'm saying? Okay, and this sticks out. But this little piece back here is where this lock bar kicks back behind underneath, right? So I don't know. Maybe it'll maybe it'll kind of loosen up here in a little bit. It's not. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's it's, it's not so much of a one hander. I kind of struggled to do that. But what do you think? I mean, a curiosity. Obviously, this is not primary EDC carry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But fanciful, petrified fish seems to come out with this kind of stuff once every blue, blue, triple blue moon. So, okay, that's fine. And uh, you know, hey, the wife's got to have something to carry too. And it, of course, it's always got to be colorful and adorable. So, hey, they hit it on the they hit it on all the marks. It comes in a box like this. I'm trying to avoid everything else. Don't read the comment section. They keep telling me, don't read the comment section. And uh, here comes this pouch. So, oh, hey, knife, just throw it away. Get the pouch. That pouch is nice, isn't it? Wow. The pouch is great. Um, okay. And, uh, oh, there you go. Petrified fish. It reminds me of the little titanium one they did several years ago that my wife has still got. And then here's your microfiber cloth. Okay. Hey, what else do we have in here? Oh, what do we got? Snacks. Uh, oh, we got extra hardware. Okay. And, of course, the little plastic it came in to begin with. Okay, this is kind of interesting. A little elastic thing to stick it in uh, because they don't have any little pockets in there. But that's kind of, okay, That's that's that'll work. That's not bad. Um, where they got labels or anything? No. Hell no. No labels on it. Okay. And then this is kind of interesting because it comes like that. And you just zip across and it opens up. But actually, this will tuck in. And so then you actually do have a box you can still use even after you've zipped it open. Okay, let me get my tweezers out so we can take this apart. Uh, okay. Yeah, it is behaving better now, isn't it? Okay, so is this a number six? Probably not even no. Nah, hell no. Probably everything's a number six on this. Are these screws number sixes or are they five? No, they're sixes. Okay, we ain't taking it from the front, so we got to take it from the back. Now, I pull this apart and screw it up. My wife will kill me. And you know what? That's a number five back there. Jeez, Marie. Seriously? Wow. 
So there's this. I wonder if I need to take that. And I probably do. I wonder if I can get this from this side, though. Why is that a number five? Damn it. Uh, crap. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got this thing that refuses to move. I mean, baby. Woo! So we got that. Um, and, you know, we got a ceramic detent ball, hardened steel uh, insert, titanium, titanium all around, captured pivot. You can see it squared off there. You can see we're squared off where over here. So it captures the pivot and we've got bearings and, uh, okay. So we got the bearings, but we don't have any steel washers that I'm seeing. So maybe that might've been a consideration since we got titanium there. But other than that, we got a tiny, tiny little piece right here um, that needs to go back as well. Uh, yeah, so we got stuff to, uh, shouldn't be too difficult to do, but that's the whole mess right there. Back with a hummingbird. What do you think? It's a humdinger. It is a humdinger. We got, we got, we can one hand it. We can one hand it. What do you think? Put your comments down below. We love them knives. You guys take care and stay sharp.